evening and welcome to this line of field house. WSN begins this tournament broadcast season for boys basketball this evening. And we are here at the field house with a matchup of a couple of teams from the Western Buckeye League. The Van Wert Cougars are here, 4-18 on the season, 1-8 conference play. And they're here to play the Salina Bulldogs, 12-10, 5-4 in the Western Buckeye League. My name is Mark Shine. my pleasure to be play-by-play. -play. John Zerby, they played with, uh, back in December. It was a four-point game then, Salina won, but it was a really close matchup. Good, interesting matchup here for tournament game this evening. Yeah, I think in that, especially in that first game, Mark, you know, these two teams know each other well. Like you said, they uh, it's a perennial uh, matchup in the WBL. I think in the first game, one of the biggest things that the takeaway was Van Wert uh, played three really good quarters. They played a really bad first quarter. And I think tonight, one of the things that they just got to focus on is playing all four quarters and making sure that they get a good start and that way that they can compete with the Salina Bulldog team. Uh, it's a Van Wert team that maybe is not completely healthy, but one thing is good for them. They got Connor Campbell back, who has missed a lot of the season, about six games with injury. And he's a significant difference maker. Yeah, he averages about 11 points a game and, you know, over six rebounds a game as well. And you know, he's one of those guys that they have to depend on. And, you know, they, they have a lot of balanced scoring with Van Wert. A, lot of, a couple of different guys, Keaton Welch, helping them out scoring-wise as well. So they're going to have to have a lot of contributors if they want to sneak out of here with a win. Let's look at the starting lineup then for Ben Loudix. Cougars, they will start number two, Caden Schaefer. 5'9", senior, averaging 7.9 points per game and 3.3 assists. Number three is Connor Campbell in 15 games, 11 points a game for the 6'2", senior. Number three, uh, number five is Ryland Miller, 6'2", senior at 5.9 points per game. Number 11 is Keaton Welch. He is a 5'10", freshman, averaging 12.6, 4.3 rebounds and nearly three assists. And number 24, Colin Haggerty, 6'1", senior at 6.7 points per game and almost four rebounds. John, let's talk about the slide of Bulldogs a little bit. Kind of a rebounding year. They've had a couple of down years, had a really good year to get to 12 and 10, 5 and 4 in the conference. Yeah, Coach Adam Johns has done a great job. He's in his fourth year. Uh, you know, he grew up at St. Mary's and played there, and he's now down uh, by the lake at Salina on the, the south side of the lake, but doing a great job. And, you know, they came off of a really uh, a really great football season as well where they had a deep playoff run. So they got a late start, but they finished the season 12-10, and 5-4 and four in the WBL, really got going as the season went on, really starting to peak at this point of the year. And, in fact, you mentioned that that game on December 15th that they won 65-61 over Van Wert was their first game following the playoffs. And not much practice time going into that. Well, really no no preseason whatsoever. So they're out of the gate and they're playing games. And I know a lot of teams have to deal with that. But that's just something new that Salina had to deal with. But uh, they got going. They've done a really nice job as the season has progressed and looking to get their first uh, tournament victory of the season as well. Let's go through the Bulldogs starting lineup then. They will start number one, Caleb Gabus, 6'1", senior, averaging 9.1 points per game. Brother Braylon Gabus is a 6'1", senior, also averages 16.46. 6.1 rebounds. Number five is Grant Duncan, 6'1 senior, 7.6 points per game. Number 11, Carter Altstetter, 6 foot senior, averaging just over a point and a half a game. And number 15 is Kate Wirtz, 6 foot junior, 7.6 points per game and two and a half assists per basketball game. It is Van Wert, it is Salina. The winner will get to play at Shawnee on Friday night. His tournament basketball is coming up next. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Slina Fieldhouse, the Dean White Court. We have a matchup of Western Buckeye League teams this evening, the Van Wert Cougars and uh, the Salina Bulldogs. Our official this evening, Anthony Santiago, Scott Buttermeyer, and Doug Etzler. Salina comes in 12 and 10, 5 and 4 in Western Buckeye League. Van Wert 4 and 18, 1 and 8 last weekend. The Van Wert Cougars defeated Bass 62-42, and on Friday night, the Salina lost to St. Mary's 52 to 40. A little bit different uh, swing of events there. Jump ball time. In the middle, we have Braylon Gabus along with Connor Campbell. Ball tipped through the backcourt. It goes to the hands of Caleb Gabus. Wing pass goes to Grant Duncan. On top it goes Carter Allstetter and over to the wing to Caden Wirtz. Gabus to the rim, left-handed scoop shot, nope. And rebound in, into the hands of Connor Campbell. He is in a hurry. It was like that first take by Gabus to the hole, Mark, to 
get things going. Beamer did a nice job. Connor Campbell coming up with the rebound, and giving them a good first look here at the basket. Pass goes inside Riley Miller to Haggerty. And back out on top it goes to Caden Schaefer. Connor Campbell on the weave. Campbell tries to get in the lane and cannot. Haggerty. Well defended inside. Pull up jumper. That shot missed by Welch. Immediately I'm seeing the athletic ability of Salina. You can see that a little bit more superior athletically, size-wise and strength-wise than Van Wert. A minute plus into this for scoreless. Each team's had a possession. This is Braylon gave us down inside. Schaefer's on his backside. This is a mismatch here. And that mismatch ends up in a basket. Braylon Gabus, first basket of the game. I'm sure Caden Schaefer didn't plan on guarding Braylon Gabus. Gabus did a nice job of getting squared up to the hole and using the backboard. 6-1 and physical against 5-9 and quick and athletic. There's a nice spin move inside. Left-handed finish will go for Ryland Miller. Yeah, Ryland Miller showing a little bit of athletic ability there with a nice double move and using his left hand to finish. goes on top. Alstetter now to the wing for Wurtz. Grant Duncan with the basketball and now Braylon Davis. I think one of the things we talked about in the pregame was Van Wert getting off to a good start. That first matchup, Salina jumped out to a big lead and they struggled to get back in the game. It's a nice looking bucket by Davis, but Van Wert wants to come out and establish this early competition. Braylon Davis just came in, off, jumped over his opponent guarding him that time. It's 4 2. Pass on the wing, Campbell. Now on top, Schaefer. Schaefer, or Connor Campbell down inside. The ball's tipped loose. Van Wert averages 46 a game. They give up about 51. That shot's blocked on the attempt by Welch. Throws it out on top. Gabus, we're headed the other way with Wurtz. Cougars get back in a hurry. Wing pass, Duncan. Gabus spins in the lane. That jump shot is short. Rebound comes to Haggerty. It's going to be important for Van Wert to combat Salina's athletic ability by boxing out and making sure that they don't give Salina second opportunities at the rim. Connor Campbell couldn't get away from Carter Alstetter. And Miller goes in the lane and lost control of the basketball. First couple of subs will be in the basketball game. That will be number 13. Lennon Cisco, 5'11", junior, one of those super subs, averaging about seven a game. And also into the game is number 25, Jake Kanapke, 6'1", senior. Braylon Davis with the basketball. There's a steal. Connor Campbell headed to the rim and throws it down. And they're going to team up, Mark, oh, afterwards. They did. After the, after the jam, he did a little bit of verbiage afterwards, and they did not mess around. They made sure that they were going to call that out right away. That is correct. That's an official saying we're not going to put up with this in the tournament, and he jumped right on the call. So that will be a personal foul in the scorebook as well. To the free throw line will go Lennon Cisco, who's a 77% free throw shooter. And it will be sliding a ball out of bounds in our free throws. They are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Wapak, Lima, Delta, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. First free throw goes. I think that's just one thing that, you know, you can tell Van Wert's been itching to get out on the floor. They're excited. They get a steal. Uh, Connor Campbell does a great job of getting the steal, getting the jam, and just, you know, letting the emotions get the most, most of him right there. Splits the pair. 5-4 here early on. We're halfway through quarter number one, and it will be slide a basketball out of bounds. And we lost the shoe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Caleb Gabus walked right out of that shoe and will take the ball out of bounds again. Listen, Mark, we haven't played four minutes of basketball and we've seen a jam, <laughs> we've seen a technical, and we've seen a lost, lost shoe. shoe. Yeah, it's tournament time. <laughs> we expect the unexpected. How about that? Ball goes into bound to Wurtz. Works to the rim, stripped away by Schaefer. Ball goes into the hands of Miller, and Schaefer will push it. Van Wert pesky on defense, creating these turnovers. That's two Salina turnovers uh, on both the last two possessions. Campbell goes off glass. No, rebound to Caleb Davis. Here's Braylon up the right side. Baseline jumper from 17. He's going to draw contact. Caden Schaefer will get his first foul. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics, and we will go back to the free throw line for a couple more of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. That's a tough foul on Caden Schaefer as uh, gave us since that first one, but you know, typically you, you get a, a foul call when the arm's going down. He actually got the foul because his arm went up on the shot and he just hit the elbow of Caleb uh, Braylon Davis. Braylon has five points in the game. He shoots 66% from the free throw line, and that one will rattle out. Connor Campbell rebounds. Well, it's good to have Connor Gable Campbell in the lineup for Van Wert. He mm. brings a lot of athletic ability, that is for sure. Haggerty down low against the press. Schaefer's going to get a three look out of the corner. Splashed it. Caden Schaefer has 42 of those on the season and puts his team up one. And you can see this intensity from Van Wert. I mean, I, I'm not saying Salina's surprised by it, but they're not only intense on the defensive side of the ball, but offensively as well. Cisco down the corner it goes. Lob inside, Braylon Davis, and he will be fouled by Haggerty on the pass. His first team's third. And, you know, Braylon Davis comes into this game averaging over 16 points a game, but, you know, I don't, I think he's going to be the key part in Salina. Establishing what they want to do offensively, and then for Van Wert, they're going to have, they're going to struggle to match up with him tonight. So they got to get creative defensively. Haggerty leaves number zero. Gage Steeman comes in. He's a 6'2 senior. Floater missed. Rebound. Schaefer. Cooper's trying to add to their lead. Welch. Keaton Welch, talented freshman, and he got a stripped away, but there's a foul. Foul goes to Braylon Davis. First team foul. And Schaefer will take the basketball out of bounds. Lob out front, Keaton Welch. A lot of good freshmen in our area, and he is one of them. Campbell wanted to go up from 14 and couldn't. Pass inside to Schaefer, reverse layup just a bit hard. The rebound comes to Kanapke. Caleb Gaynor spins and goes off glass. Great, great move by Davis, getting to the hole, using the glass, and then finishing. Averages nine a game. That's his first points of the game. And back and forth we go early on here. Welch. This is Steven who checked in a moment ago. Campbell, three-point shot. Good check out. Ball ends up into Wurtz's hands. Pull-up jumper from three. A deep three does it go. Schaefer scrambles into the rebound. Two on one the other way. Schaefer gets another three look. And works with another rebound. Well, I like the looks from both teams. They're getting open shots. They're playing high, uh, high tempo, just not getting them to fall. Kanapke couldn't get that one to go. Welsh rebounds will head the other way. Steven from the corner. And hustling into the rebound is Miller. His reverse layup doesn't go. Numbers the other way. And a nice pass, and it's going to be a good finish by Caleb Gavis. Yeah, Caleb Gavis does a good job of moving without the basketball, and Caden Wurtz does a really good job of feeding it to him in the exact place that it needed to be. 10-7, Bulldogs. We are just under a minute here in the opening quarter. Welch for three, and he's going to get fouled. Let's see if it's a three-shot thing, if he's on the floor in the afterwards. It will be three shots. Spoke 
a little bit about Keaton Welch just a few minutes ago as he's going to get the opportunity here to shoot three. And Mark, you think he's played a little bit of basketball growing up or maybe in the you know, holiday time? You think? And, uh, you know. Dad is, of course, our grandfather, excuse me, is Al Welch, longtime coach. Brothers or dads have played. So, yes, uncles have played. Yeah, that's correct. Two more. The foul, by the way, went to Caleb Davis, his first team second. Welch shoots 68% from the free throw line. That one goes. Well, number 20, and that's Cohen Bragg for the uh, Cougars. Haggerty's back in as well. You see, only player we haven't called so far in the basketball game as a couple more subs came in for Bulldogs who've already played. He makes all three of them. Hat trick. Tied at 10. Ben Lodick, you're really pleased with this first quarter. You've matched the line as intensity. You've been able to score points, but also been able to defend effectively. Works tries to get to the goal. Ball's tipped around. He gets his own rebound. That was banged out front for him by Carter Allstetter. And I think this will be an opportunity now for the Slider Bulldogs play last shot, opening quarter. Braylon Davis. He catches the screen, tries to get low, got doubled up inside. Jumper pull up, works, nope, tip shot. Braylon Davis got it at the buzzer. Seven point opening quarter. Braylon Davis, his team will take a 12 point lead to the opening break. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Slide a field house to Dean White Court. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Good first quarter, John. 12-10 Bulldogs. Well, I think it's been it was a good first quarter for both teams. I mean, I think if you're Coach Adam Johns at Salina, you're pleased with the way that your kids came out in front of a home crowd. I mean, I know it's a tournament atmosphere, but came out and played aggressively with a lot of intensity. But I think if you're Coach Ben Lodick, you're really pleased. They come out here in a very tough gym to play on a smaller the intensity level of Salina. Bulldogs starting in a 1-2-2 two, two trap coming out of the break. Schaefer with it. And then they will fall the man-to-man -man will the Bulldogs. Double high screen, Schaefer. He's get a pair of screens then for Bragg. Campbell. Four different Cougars scored in the opening quarter. Haggerty traveled. As I said right before the break, Braylon Gabus has seven. Caleb Gabus had four to lead the homestanding team. Just that little bit of defensive change in Salina and then getting back into their man to man just threw Van Ware off. You could see that they were kind of out of sorts, and it took them that whole possession to figure it out before there was a turnover. Braylon Gabus, baseline jumper. Connor Campbell rebounds. Bragg into the lane, and he will draw contact. That will be the first free throws here of this quarter. See the fouls assessed to two. Then Cisco picks up his first foul. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary. It sponsors our free throws this evening. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. Bragg makes the first free throw. You talked about Keaton Welch being, you know, part of a pretty impressive freshman class for Van Wert. Well, Cohen Bragg's the other piece of that. He's yes. six feet, coming off the bench here, doing a really nice job of contributing in his first tournament game. Care to guess how big those two will be next year or their junior year? Oh, a couple man. of young men are going to grow and fill out some and improve their skills, of course, but being more physical as well. Trying to get into the lane this time is Duncan. Bounce pass inside. Reverse lap goes over the rim on Allstetter's attempt. Cougars get another rebound. Not many second shots for the team wearing white tonight. I was just going to say that, you know, 
Van Wert's done a really nice job of boxing out. I think I said earlier, they're a little bit physically outmatched, but they've done a really nice job of being fundamental. This is Bragg who was headed to the rim when the foul occurred. That goes to Braylon Davis. His second, team second of the quarter. Into the game will come Kanapke and Caleb Davis. You know, I'm impressed with Cohen Bragg already. Comes in as a freshman, playing in his first tournament game, historic gym, a lot on the line, and he's taken the ball to the hole twice and, and drew fouls from Salina. Campbell. Miller tries to get inside. Welch working the lane, too. It's a three ball out of the corner. That doesn't go for Bragg. Works with the rebound. He's done that a lot this evening. He's been on defensive glass multiple times. See where the points come from now with Braylon Davis on the bench with a couple of fouls. The flex cut. Pass inside, and they got Wurtz open inside for his first match of the game. You talked about some of the things he was doing on the glass. I yep. want to tell you, Caden Wurtz has passed the ball nicely so far, but he's moved really well without the basketball. You've seen that back cut there to get himself an opportunity to Welch score. Welch pull-up jumper. He's got five in the game. We're tied at 14. It's a pretty move from 15. I'll tell you what, that's unstoppable. If he can get that going, that could be something that Van Wert can ride the rest of the night. Kanapke gets over to his teammate Duncan, pass inside, Flex got, got a guy open again, and this time the finish goes to Caleb Davis, he's got a chance for an and one. Foul goes to Keaton Welch, his first, Flex has been good to the Bulldogs here in this quarter. Well, they've done a nice job of, of making sure that they find that man who is cutting, but also once they're around the rim, doing a good job of positioning their body to draw fouls and get themselves to the free throw line. Still a two-point lead for the home team. Here's their half-court trap again. Haggerty, bounce pass across the lane to Miller. Welch is going to get a three look. <laughs> I think Haggerty fouled. You know, I'll tell you what, Mark. He did his best to hide from Doug Etzler down there, but I think everybody in the gym seen him. Yeah, I think so. Just battling for the... Rebound, he picked up his second foul, though. That will bring in Gage Steeman. There's Wernz, had a really nice game so far. And down to the wing it goes. Grant Duncan looking for somewhere to go with it. I've been impressed by how patient Salina has been offensively. Waiting for the right pass and or the right shot, not just shooting anything. Move in the lane. That fall, shot won't fall for Jake Kanapke and Welch rebounds. Cougars down by two. Coach Lodick calling the set. Miller on the wing. Campbell gets inside, and we're going to get a foul. Was it before the shot? Nope. He's shooting foul. That's going to give Connor Campbell the opportunity there. A nice take by Campbell. Van Wert, just like we mentioned with Salina a few minutes ago, being very patient on offense, waiting for the right opportunity. And Connor Campbell took the ball to the hole. He drew himself a foul. Now he's going to get two free throw opportunities. Foul went to Jake Kanapke. Here's our Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Goes off the back of the rim for Connor. Typically a 73% free throw shooter as Carter Alston comes back into the basketball game. <laughs> Lennon Sisko's down here talking to Coach Lowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I know Lennon Sisko. He's a great kid. He's a character. I like guys that compete with a smile on their face. Absolutely. You know? One point lead. Wurtz into the lane. And now Caleb Davis. 
Braylon gave us a lot of time on the bench with a couple of fouls and that left handed shot will miss but reason was he was fouled by Schaefer. And now Caden Schaefer picks up two fouls. And we'll go back to the free throw line. Will Caleb Davis six points in the game. With Braylon Davis on the bench, I wouldn't say that, you know, Salinas lighting up the scoreboard, but they've done a nice job of maintaining, you know, allowing him to get those minutes and getting themselves to the free throw line. The problem is, Mark, they're struggling to convert at the free throw line, and this is where they really have to make these shots if they want to get this lead. Just two for six going into this opportunity right here. Davis shoots 60 percent from the free throw line this season and splits the pair. He's got seven points in the game, and we are going to get our first time out of the game. We're going to slide him. You're watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN. the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. First time out of the game with 3.40 to go will go to Salina. They have a two-point lead at 17-15. I looked to see if he was going to put Braylon Davis back in. He chose not to. Got those two fouls and obviously wants him to be clean heading into quarter number three if he can get there. Steeman gets a three look. After a good check out the rebound comes to Grant Duncan. Well Salina has struggled to score but so is Van Wert and so having Gavis on the bench hasn't you know traumatized the Bulldogs whatsoever but both teams right now both struggling to put the ball in the hole. Well, Duncan right to the rim. Campbell rebounds. He's in a hurry the other way. And through traffic he goes and right to the rim goes Connor Campbell. Points four and five for him today. We're tied at 17. I think Manward's on to something with Connor Campbell. He's looked really good taking the ball to the hole. Talk about taking the ball to the hole. That's what Caleb Davis just did. He's now got nine points in the game. It's always funny when you go about two minutes without anybody scoring and then they quickly <laughs> trade hoops right away. 19-17 in favor of the homestanding Bulldogs. The winner will get Shawnee on Friday night at Lapham Gymnasium. Rebound works. For guys who only got two points, he sure has affected the basketball game, has worked. Jump around the corner. And good check out once again by the Cougars. And now their coach, Ben Laddick, will take a timeout. Court here at the Salinas Fieldhouse. Bulldogs 19, Van Wert Cougars 17. This team is taking a timeout in half number one. Let's see what Coach Laudick did with his timeout. Adam Johns stays with his man to man press. That means Lenny Cisco matches up with Caden Schaefer. Bragg looking. Campbell looked at a shot, but I think there was a foul on the screener, correct? They're going to get it on the floor here, like you said, to the screener, and that's going to get a push. The foul went on number one, Caleb Davis, and now he has a two foul. Fight his way through a screen. That happened down in front of the slide of students who couldn't see it very well. Schaefer gets that inbounds pass. Bragg. Miller works. Welch to the rim and he will draw a foul. They sure know how to catch the ball, square up, ball fake and go, don't they? They sure do. And that just comes from spending a lot of time in the gym and working on your fundamentals. I love what Keaton Welch does. He's got that little burst, not afraid to take the, 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 the ball to the basket and uh, getting himself opportunities from the free throw line. He made three in a row a little bit earlier when he was fouled shooting a three-point field goal attempt. That foul uh, went to works. He's now got a foul. Sixth point for Keaton Welch. Leaves his team in scoring in the opening half. Haggerty's back in and 
So does Braylon Davis. Well, Minute that, 43 to go. And I'm sure, you know, from the advice of Coach Johns, he's telling him, make sure you don't pick up that third foul before the end of the second quarter. Coach Johns probably got tired of tugging on his shirt saying, put me back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> We're tied at 19 with 1.39 to go in our opening half. This is Braylon Davis, who sat much of this quarter. Now he has the basketball. And works, pull-up jumper, a bit long. Rebound. Keaton Welsh had it and lost it out of bounds in traffic. Van Wert's done a nice job of only giving Salina one-shot opportunities and rebounding the basketball. This is going to be a second-chance opportunity for Salina here with just a little bit over a minute to go. Works for three out of the corner. Davis rebounds unless he got called for a push-off. Let's see. No, it's actually on at number 11. Alstetter got called for the push-off foul. I think it's one and one, or actually not one and one anymore. A double bonus situation. I think that's team foul five. And here we go. It is team foul five. We'll go to the other end and shoot with 114 to go. And you know, on that possession there, it did look like Braylon Gabus was up vertical and probably was going to get the rebound. But they got Carter Alstetter with the push underneath. That gives uh, Colin Haggerty the opportunity to go to the free throw line for the Cougars. Haggerty for a couple of leads. Famous rescue chicken free throw. Second opportunity coming, trying to break the tie, which he does. His team's up 2019. Braylon Davis. Off the screen comes Kanapke. This will be a three attempt that goes for Lennon Cisco. He's got 46 of those on the season now, puts his team up to. To the rim, Miller powers up and scores. Riley Miller's got a basket in each quarter for four. Yeah, and it's, you know, both teams have answered each other to, to tie the game back up again. And when one does something, the other always answers. Kanapke. Well, Chan hounding Cisco after just made that three ball. There's a pass inside, and Wurtz is going to score off the flex cut again. He said Wurtz moving without the basketball, Mark, doing a really good job of squaring his shoulders and laying that in. Cougars down by two, want to go last possession in the opening half. Welch to the rim. Up through contact, he gets blocked by Wurtz, but he knocked it off of Cisco, who's standing out of bounds. And now what? A discussion at the scorer's table about this one. And into the game will come Cohen Harder for Salina. It's a defensive possession, which means Braylon Davis will set. And working inside. Schaefer gets another look at it. Works with another rebound. And a long throw, and we have brought the first 16 minutes to an end. Competitive open half, Salina 24, Van Wert 22. Second half coming up after this. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Welcome back to the Salina Fieldhouse. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone. All best mutual telephone is a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. The Salina Bulldogs quarter scores of 12 and 12, and that gets them to 24 points in our opening half. They are led in scoring by number uh, Z, number one, and that is Caleb Davis. He's got nine. Braylon Davis has seven. Van Wert Cougars have quarter scores of 10 and 12. That's their 22. They have seven from Keith Welch and five for Connor Campbell. And John, as we talked about the break, one huge number, and that is in free throw department, Van Wert is nine of 11, and Salina just three of seven. 
Yeah, I think Van Wert's done a really nice job at number one, getting themselves to the free throw line, taking the ball to the hole. But number two, converting on free throws, Mark. I think that's just something that, especially when we get into tournament time and when we talk about it during the season, especially in league games, you have to make your free throws, but it's a definite in the tournament. If you're going to play in a sectional semi or a sectional final, you have to make free throws to win. Caleb Davis and Braylon Davis each have two fouls. And on the other side, Caden Schaefer and Colin Haggerty have a two for Van Wert, and they're going to start out playing zone. Davis, pull-up jumper. Didn't take Braylon Davis long to get points eight and nine. Well, and that's, you know, one of the things in the first half, he, he sat on the bench a lot in the second quarter, but he never really got going offensively either. He struggled to get into the game, and, you know, if you're Coach Adam Johns, I'm guessing that the halftime game plan centered around somehow getting him the basketball. Coming off the screen is Campbell. He got, actually got three screens, and Connor Campbell gets right to the rim. He has seven in the game now. We've seen Connor Campbell do a lot of good things tonight. Started the game off with a dunk and has done a really nice job of getting to the hole. Caleb Davis comes off a screen. Pass down inside. Braylon Davis to Wernz. Ball fake and go by Grant Duncan. His 12-footer spins out. Tip-in opportunity by Braylon Davis and Schaefer rebounds. Yeah, Here's Kate, Kate. Kate Schaefer does a nice job of rebounding and boxing out Braylon Davis there. Keaton walks to the lane. Three Bulldogs have a rebound, and the guy who seems to get every rebound tonight is Kate Wertz. That's your man tonight, Mark. It Kate Wertz. Boy, he is fun to watch. Nice pass inside. Caleb Davis spins off glass. Nope. Works for another <laughs> rebound. Duncan for three. And finally, the rebound secured by Ryland Miller. Connor Campbell, spin move, and he lost the ball. Now Welch goes into the lane. Campbell goes baseline, and I guess he's tipped out of bounds. Van Wert probably got away with run there as, uh, as Connor Campbell tried to drive the baseline and lost the basketball. But, you know, I like how Van Wert is being aggressive offensively, really working hard to get that open shot. Schaefer gets a three look out of the corner. Braylon Davis rebounds. Here's a pass ahead. Wernz bounce pass and the finish by Caleb Davis. He's got 11 now. Good transition play. Great job by Caden Wernz of making that bounce pass to Caleb Davis who uses the backboard and now pushes this Bulldog lead to four, Mark. Campbell. Skip pass. Welch ended up with it. Schaefer's in the corner with it. Campbell for three. Connor Campbell. He's got 10 in the game. Every time he thinks the line is going to make a little bit of a run, Van Wert battles back and inches just a little bit closer. Down by a point are the Cougars. Into the lane. And power layup, Grant Duncan. He's got a basket and an one opportunity. Grant Duncan was a little bit quiet in the first half. It's nice to see him start the second half off being aggressive and getting himself to the free throw line with the old fashioned three point play. Our free throws there brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. And Duncan completes the three point play and pushes the lead back to four. Here's the half court trap again. Campbell navigates through it. Welch gets cut off by Caleb Davis. Campbell sees a lane, goes right to the rim, and finishes inside. Connor Campbell's got 12. He averages 11 in a, on the season. Salina's struggling to defend him tonight. They may have to look to get a little bit more support because one-on-one, -on -one he is being unchallenged at the hole. Braylon Davis is doubled up on the baseline. To give it up. Caleb Davis, he goes to the rim and scores points 12 and 13. Physically strong player. Yeah, and, and it can elevate, can get to the rim, and nice uh, quick move off the dribble as well. It's a four-point game again. Keaton Welch comes off a screen. He gets picked up by Carter Allstetter. Oh 
Miller. Campbell off the screen inside. Welch from 17. Keaton Welch now has nine in the game. Turning into a shootout this quarter. Well, I was going to say, boy, these teams are trading buckets. It's, it's fun. I mean, it's fun when teams are making shots and getting back on defense and playing aggressive. Raylan Davis spins inside. He goes off glass, elevates and scores. His points 10 and 11. I don't mean to sound like an old man either, but no three-point attempts. I mean, they are going to the hole and taking everything, everything inside the arc. Welsh pull-up jumper again. That was a bit short. Grant Duncan rebounds. Caden Wirtz. And then to Braylon Davis. Wirtz is the only junior in Coach John's starting lineup. Caleb Davis comes off a couple of screens. He goes to the rim around a screen. Haggerty rebounds. Good take, just couldn't get it to fall. And Van Wharton quickly gets in transition on offense. Get Davis takes it away. This is going down. Nope, he missed it. He jumped a little bit soon. And we'll go the other way. Campbell to the rim. Connor Campbell's got 14. He's got nine and a quarter. Circus shot, Grant Duncan. He's got five. And we're going to get a timeout, Salina. Actions fast and furious. 2.37 to go in the third. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Salina, where Lee's famous recipe chicken updates you with all your area scores with the WSN Scores app. Download the free app from Android or Apple Stores or visit WOSN.tv. Help me out, John. Were you an English major? Uh, uh, English, you know, I, I'm certified to teach English language arts. I don't all know right. if that makes me a major, though. If you spell Lee's, L-E-S-S, -S, <laughs> and, and the announcer doesn't pay attention to read it beforehand, it almost comes out as less chicken. And what's that? We, we want more chicken. No, we want, always want more <laughs> chicken, that's for sure. That was the second time out by Salina. They lead by four. In the shootout quarters, 13-11 here in the quarter for Salina. Campbell. Davis has him. Haggerty's trying to get to the rim. Spins inside against Duncan. That's a nice move by Colin Haggerty. Oh, he just kind of wiggled his way in there and got a good look. He's able to cut this lead to two. Then that way, it seems like for most of the quarter, the lead's two, the lead's four. Kanapke with the basketball, looking inside. Both Davis are post up inside on a low block. And now Braylon comes out to the wing to get the basketball. Wirtz screens. Kanapke inside. Wirtz gets a three look. Cade Wirtz has made eight three-point field goals on the season, and that was a big one because it pushes the lead to the biggest of the game at five. We've called his name so many times tonight, Mark, and he's just probably that guy. You know, you, the Gavis boys, they get a lot of uh, press and publicity for what they do. I really, really like Caden Wirtz's game, all the little things that he does. Haggerty ball fakes. He can't get to the rim. Connor Campbell, a minute to go. Important possession. Haggerty. Campbell on a back cut. That's going to be goaltending. Davis got up and knocked it loose on Campbell's back cut. Connor Campbell's got 16. He's got 11 in the quarter. Well, Connor Campbell beat Braylon Davis on the back cut. And on the recovery is when Davis tried to catch up. And he gets, uh, you know, charged. That. Ball came off the backboard and he hit it. That was the call. Here's Wurtz trying to turn the corner. And Schaefer picks up the loose ball. Caden Schaefer bounce pass and Campbell lost it. His eyes on the rim and lost the ball. Back to back turnovers by both teams. And they traded buckets and they trade turnovers. Salina, Adam Johns yelling last shot of the quarter. Braylon Davis comes off a screen. Schaefer had a steal, but a foul. 
That will be Caden Schaefer's third foul, and immediately up off the bench is Ryland Miller to take his place for the last 21.4 quarter three. Caden Schaefer may be a little outsized, but I'll tell you, he makes up for it with a lot of heart and hustle. He's got three fouls, but he's done everything he possibly can defensively. Cisco comes off a screen. Braylon Davis, pull up three. Braylon Davis, 14, that's his 23rd three-point field goal of the game, and now it's a six-point lead. Drag. Welsh lost the basketball at the end of the quarter. And it was a really good offensive quarter for the Salina Bulldogs. And they will take a six-point lead to the fourth. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. It's a 19 to... Uh, 19 to 15 quarter here in quarter number three. In favor of the Salina Bulldogs, our scoreboard is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. We talked about the free throw shooting in the first half, John. Only one free throw shot in that quarter. That was by Salina, so they're now four of eight at the free throw line. Of course, Van Wert stays at 9-11, but that six-point lead in this game seems huge. Yeah, and, and you know, each team is up and down the floor. I love the way that that third quarter was played. It was a clean quarter as far as fouls go, but both teams doing a really good job of converting and adding a lot of their uh, to their point total. Caden Schaefer for three. Rebound, Duncan. Stolen to the rim, Miller. Stolen back by Davis. Jumper out of the whoop corner. That's a three-point field goal for Caleb Davis. My, my stat page says he now has seven for the season, so big three-point field goal for him. Defensive breakdown by Van Ward. They didn't get back. They didn't recover. They left Caleb Davis wide open on the right wing, and he drilled the triple. It's already it's a nine-point lead. There's a turnover. Cisco has it. Davis, bounce pass just a shade behind. The teammate, but right there to pick it up. Duncan missed, but he's fouled. I think that's Schaefer. Let's see what the call is. No, it is not Schaefer. It's Connor Campbell gets foul number two. And we are going to get a timeout by Van Wert. Flurry of activity going the way of the Bulldogs. We're watching high school tournament basketball, WOSN. at the Salina Fieldhouse. It's a nine-point lead for the homestanding Bulldogs. Our free throw sponsor today is Lee's Famous Mystery Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Mystery Chicken for home style happens here. And to the free throw line will go Grant Duncan. Grant has five points all in the second half. He's looking at a pair more here to make it a double-figure lead for his team. Salina's really opened this up in the last three minutes, Mark, going yeah. into the late into the third quarter. You know, it's been a two to four point lead most of the game back and forth. And now Salina finally opening up now an 11 point lead over these Cougars. Makes both of his free throws. Seven points now for Grant Duncan. Here's the half court trap. Schaefer to Welch. And down in the corner goes to Miller. Welch gets a three look. They needed that one. And rebound, guess who? Works, but he lost the ball. Haggerty goes up. Just a bit hard. Braylon Davis on the break. That ball's blocked by Haggerty out of bounds. Well, Cougars can't get a break. They're struggling to get a bucket right now. They're doing a great job of hustling, creating turnovers, creating good opportunities at the rim. They just can't get it to fall. Braylon Davis hands off to Works. And he goes right to the rim. That shot's a little bit hard. Rebound by Miller. That one's been on the glass today. 11-point lead. Cougars need to make something happen here in the last 626. Well, I think at this point of the game, Mark, you can't be super patient. You know, you've got to get points, and you've got to get them in a hurry, in a hurry especially in the fourth quarter now. Down 11 points. Schaefer trying to get into the lane. Miller. 
Double up on the baseline. And Haggerty has it. Haggerty can't get loose. That defense has been really good. Well, step back 17. Schaefer gets the rebound on the backside. Campbell to the rim. Worth with a rebound. Yeah, Van Wert getting good opportunities, trying to be as patient as possible, just can't get the ball to fall. You know, John, we don't keep individual stats. The next time I do a slider game, I'm keeping track how many rebounds Wert has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grant looking inside, finally finds Braylon Davis. Flex cut's been good to slide in this game. Right to the rim goes Caleb Davis. He's got 18 now. And what do we have? I think it's a warning for touching the ball after it went through the, through the rim, right? I, I believe I, I believe so. that's what it was. Caught Bragg uses that to dead ball to get a substitution in. Jack Kanapke, Jake Kanapke comes in as well. If you're Coach Johns right now for Salina, you have to feel good about this. I mean, it was nip and tuck for a long time, and you know Salina doing a really great job of playing aggressive defense, making Vanmore earn every point, and there just haven't been too many of them in this quarter. It's a 7-0 quarter so far for the Bulldogs. This is Bragg. He gets a three look. That's a bit short. And the rebound comes to Caleb Davis to Braylon. Bounce pass across the lane. Oh, blocked by Bragg, he's going to be called for the foul. Cohen went up to, looked like he got contact uh, with his arm. I guess he was taking a shot up. His first foul to the free throw line will go Jake Kanapke. That's a beautiful pass to Kanapke. Kanapke took it up strong. He's going to get himself an opportunity for two free ones here. Makes that one. His first points of the game. He shoots 62% on the season. The winner will play at Shawnee on a Friday evening. And that will bounce around. Struggled a bit from the free throw line in the first half, but they're five for five in the second half are the Cougars. Well, that's one of the things we talked about at halftime is that they have to make free throws. If you want to win tournament games, you have to convert from the free throw line. Campbell finds Schaefer in the corner. Game is high for the rebound. And with 4.30 to go, his team in control. He's going to walk it up. His coach calls the set. Pass inside. Caleb Davis spins and will draw a foul from Ryland Miller. Yeah, I think if you're Salina now, you can be extremely patient with the basketball. You can not only take your time and get an open look, but be very selective on what shots you want to take. Caleb Davis, 18 points this evening. And now 19. He averages 9.1 on the season, having a great tournament run here tonight. And while we got a minute, John, I really appreciate coaches who get stats and information out to us. Both of <laughs> these coaches did early. They sure did. Appreciate that. That's point 20 for him. Well, on our end, it's, it gives us an opportunity to, to look over and get to know the players and and we do appreciate that. We know it's a busy time of year with the uh, school and everything going on in tournament time. Miller gets shape from the basketball. It's a 17-point lead. Campbell out of the corner. And Davis went to rebound it, but Bragg knocked it out of bounds. Here comes Cisco into the game. Also back into the game will be Gage Steeman. Haggerty will return as well. I think if you're Van Wert and you break down the end of this, you know, this game at the end, you're going to see that you just struggled to shoot in the second half. You really struggled to put the ball in the hole. Jump around the corner. That three ball goes to Braylon Davis. He's got two of those in the game. He's got 17 points tonight. Pull up jumper Welch. Rebound Duncan. The student section from Salina standing up. I thought he threw the ball away. Here's Davis standing in the corner for a three. Here's another three. It's a good Short. place to hide. Duncan gets his own rebound. Cisco throws it to Davis. And short jumper will go for Braylon. He's got 19 now. Good pass. Well, and it was four points just a minute ago, I felt like. And yep. now they've really blown this thing wide open. It's 16-0 here this quarter in favor of the Bulldogs. 
You know, they've been clicking on all cylinders. We talked about the first matchup. Vanwert struggling in the first quarter. They played three solid quarters, but this fourth quarter has been a real Achilles heel. Under three to go. Our sectional semifinal matchup. Brandon Davis for three again. That's a bit short. Steven rebounds. Haggerty will push the pace. Pull up jumper for Haggerty. He's got five now, and that's the first points of the quarter with 2.39 to go. And Coach Lattick will take a timeout. We're watching high school tournament basketball, WOSN. You can visit our website, WSN.tv, for scores, standings, access to our broadcast schedule, and the WSN app. 2.39 to go, timeout by the Cougars. And they trail by 20-point margin. Works with the basketball. Raylan Davis. They're going to run their flex cut. One of the things about this offense, John, you can use it as a delay game if you like. Well, and I think that, you know, you want to get a good shot, but if your Coach John's here, I think the other thing is that you want to get out of here feeling good about this win, getting out of here healthy as well. Don't want anything to happen here at the end that's going to mess things up for, the, for Friday night's game. There's a steal. Campbell. <laughs> got the win off the rim. Tyler Campbell's got 18 in the game now. Connor Campbell's been impressive. He's been a bright spot for Van Wert, not only athletically, but doing a lot on the defensive end as well. Braylon Davis out high with the basketball. Braylon to the rim, and he spins in another one. He's got 21 now, one more than his brother Caleb has. Schaefer for three. Works with a rebound. The big thing about Braylon Gavis this half mark is he's been on the floor. He spent Correct. so much time in the second quarter on the bench, he's had an opportunity to be on the floor and make up for missed points in the, in the first half. That is correct. He's got 14 of his 21 here in the second half after spending significant time with fouls in the opening half. Duncan turned down a shot and it's a really good piece of officiating. I call timeout to wipe up the floor and we get to get players in the game. That's a veteran official that, right there, that, John. That's a smart move, yes, sir. a classy move as well because yep. it's a good opportunity to honor some of these Van Wert kids who put in a lot, especially the seniors, their yep. last opportunity to take the floor. Griff McCracken's in the basketball game. Uh, so is uh, Kevin Welch. Uh, number 10, Nate Gearhart's in the basketball game. So is Landon Suttoth. And I'm trying to see who I missed in that neck. Oh, Bragg stays out there with them. For Salina, uh, they have brought in uh, Braylon Parker, uh, Carson Wetzel. Who did I miss? Well, 33 is in the basketball game. Grant Heckler, 45 is in the game. Gavin Rooker. And I'm sure I missed one other person. It looks like uh, the ball's tipped loose. I'm impressed you got all those names, well, Mark. I'm telling you, that's, oh, that's impressive. Cohen Harder's in the basketball game as well. <laughs> and there's going to be no patience with these guys. They're <laughs> going to want to fire shots up. <laughs> well, that's Suddit trying to get loose. Pass instead goes to Gearhart. And there's a three. Bragg missed. And the rebound was secured by Heckler. Ball's in the corner, comes back out on top to Wetzel. He bounce passes inside, stolen, taken away though by Gearhart. We go the other way. From the corner, be a three ball by McCracken. Nope, and the rebound on the backside comes to Parker. And they're going to let this one come to an end. It'll be a 61-41 victory for the homestanding team. And that will be a part, in part, John, because of a huge 18-4 fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, you know, as we look at what the, is the difference in this game, it's, again, one quarter. This time, the fourth quarter, you know, as uh, 
Van Wert really struggled in the fourth quarter. I think at one point it was 16 to zero where Salina had outscored them. And, you know, obviously, Mark, in these kind of situations, you got to score points to win. Well, let's talk about our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. Well, it would have been nice to give it to leading scorers, but the guy who did so much at both ends of the floor this evening, he scored seven points, he rebounded the basketball, defended. We're going to give it today to Cade Works. I mean, I, you know, both you and I were impressed from, with him from the get-go. I love watching guys hustle, do the right thing, that they're fundamentally sound as well. And he did. I mean, Caden Wertz did everything right tonight. The other thing that he did well is he defended, he rebounded, he scored. But, Mark, he passed the ball incredibly well. And he just seems like that glue that kind of keeps that the team together. When Braylon Davis had that long gap in the second quarter where he was out, it was Caden Wertz who was kind of that centerpiece that held everything together. Van Wert Cougars will finish this season with four wins and 19 losses. They were led to scoring today by Connor Campbell. He had 18 of their 41 points. Quarter scores of 10, 12, 15, and 4 for Van Wert. Salina goes to 13 and 10 on the season. They got 21 from Braylon Davis, 20 from Caleb Davis this evening. Their quarter scores were 12, 12, 19, and 18. And they will move on now, John, to play the Shawnee Indians uh, up at Lapham Gymnasium on Friday night at 7 o'clock. Well, and one of the things that we really didn't discuss on the air, but is that, you know, now that the, the, the sectionals are home site, yep. it makes it really difficult. And Salina now has the home game in the first round. The second round has to go to Shawnee's Lapham Gymnasium, another legendary court in the area. It's very difficult to win on the road. It's going to be interesting. And another WBO matchup Friday night. We want to thank our sponsors this season. That has been the Wabash Mutual Telephone, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, and Stiley Insurance. We appreciate them. The athletic director, Mr. Derek Wenning, got us all set in our position this evening. Megan Sherrick will do all of our work here in the station at the studio as far as audio and video and getting us all set up this evening. And Megan will take this back to the station and edit it all together for your viewing pleasure. Salina moves on to the sectional final, 61-41 over Van Wert. We've been watching high school tournament basketball, WOSN.